just put the lights on, guys. Hi, everybody. Good afternoon. My name is Crystal, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Good afternoon. Um, Alexa, what's the time, please? The time is 1.03 p.m. I'm pleased to say that I've been down to my post box and I've got my bank card and I've got some money that my mum sent me in the mail. Right? However, I have been threatened this afternoon, threatened, and I have been sent the most disgusting images and I feel upset, I feel sick and I'm not going out at lunchtime. I phoned the police yesterday um, and I wasn't even asked my name, what I was talking about from the female on the end of the phone and I told her that this guy was sexual, he sent me indecent images and he was asking me to take my clothes off. She said as long as he's not blackmailing me that is not a crime. This guy is still trying to talk to me and I'm ignoring him and I had some messages from, from dating sites and it's also happening on my Facebook where this guy used to FaceTime me and say hi and I feel sick. I'm a single female, I cannot have children anymore, I'm going through the menopause, I can't get pregnant. Yesterday someone threatened to get me pregnant, which they can't do anyway, because I can't get pregnant. I don't have periods anymore. Right? I've told the police umpteen times that I don't feel safe outside. I've told the police umpteen times that I don't feel safe outside. They don't care. They're probably up at this rally in London all their manpower up in London, but I'm not worth a piece of their time. So I'm staying indoors this afternoon. I feel like I'm a prisoner in my own home. I, I feel that I've been let down by the police. I'm disgusted at, at, at how I'm being treated. There's not a lot I can do. I've just rung my mother and that phone call did not feel private. I, I rang my mother and I was on the phone for about five minutes explaining to her that I won't be coming up to see her anymore. I, I phoned her up five minutes ago and I told her I'm not coming up to see you anymore. I've just been threatened on a dating site and I don't feel safe going into these taxis with these foreign men anyway. So my mum's gone, all right, all right then, and she's just, she's gone off the phone. Immediately, I put the phone down. You've got some female, it's a woman, and her dog's, woof, 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 woof. And this Sean is trying to text me, because he wants me to take my tits out. him anymore and anybody of a normal nature would realize that when somebody doesn't doesn't answer your calls and you keep asking them to take their tits out they don't really want to know all I get can I have some pictures uh, I've been sent in decent images Someone threatened they was going to get me pregnant, and I, I mean, I don't take any notice of it. I, I doubt they could anyway. The size of the picture they sent me, they couldn't get anything pregnant. But that's not the point. I can't look 
for a decent man to date or go for a coffee with. They just want to use me. They want me to, oh, you like sex? You like sex? You go outside, you, you like sex? I'm not going out this afternoon because I'm being harassed online. By sexual freaks and predators. If I wanted to, yes, I would go outside, but why should I have to keep watching over my back all the time? Why, why, why can't I just be left alone? So I'm not going out this afternoon. Now we're going to go on to the post. And Barclays Bank, right, is based in Leicester, where my father Derek was born. And he was born in Oldby in Leicester my father, and he had a Barclays bank account, my dad did. Um, so, I, they, Barclays bank has asked me, Crystal, about my purchases, um, and they've asked me if it's fraud or genuine, Fraud or genuine, and then I've got to sign a uh, sign a statement. Um, so, how do you want to do this? going on here they want me to send this they haven't they have not given me an envelope they've not given me an envelope or a stamp they haven't given me an envelope or a stamp and they want me to send this Barclays Bank if this if some transactions are fraud and genuine and I spoke to them over the phone Right, I don't seem to have a pin. I don't seem I asked them to change the pin, but I don't seem to have a pin number. I don't seem to have a pin number here. Right, so we've got a bank card but no pin number. We've got a bank card and no pin number, that should be okay. I should be able to use contact list. Um so when I go into the shop, when I feel better because I feel mentally strained, I feel exhausted, I feel mentally battered and I feel rotten and I feel angry and I feel fed up. My mum has said she sent two envelopes out. She sent one out yesterday. So she has now addressed it to Miss Janestra Trower. And I told you what happens when she does that, don't I? The fucking dogs start barking. The last time she sent me an envelope with Janestra Trower on, I got fucking bullied to fuck. Hear the dogs barking? That's after the post ladies left me an envelope with Janestra Trower on it. Hello? 
one queen stamp, one king Charles stamp. It's a woman's dog, it's a female. It's probably that woman with the dash hand at the top. So, 60 pounds, 60, 60 quid. When you persist, they've given in, haven't they? They've caved in. They've caved in, they've given in. They've sent me my card, although I haven't got the pin number, but we'll try the card. So they've, they've caved in. I am not going up and being put through what I was put through two weeks ago. Three £20 notes with the Queen's head on. I've still got the King Charles uh, note with the head on. 577, 612, 810. BD 36, CE 65 and AK 30. Carry on abusing me. Go and get a job, you old man. You're fucking nuts. You're, you're, you're a crazy lunatic. Whoever you are, you're a nutcase and you need medication. Because if you think that I look like an old man, you're very much mistaken. Okay. When you get the help you need, right, you need a straight jacket, you need to go to the mental health hospital and stay there until you're better. So one o'clock this afternoon, I've actually got my bank card and I've got some money, right? I hope the, the London rally goes well up in London, the Tommy Robinson march. It's a bit too late to start heading up to London now. And to all those people that have lied to me, let me down and have been two-faced, Karma's coming for you. Karma. It's alright when they need something. When they need something and want something, that's fine. They trample all over me to get it. But when I need help, there's nobody there. And they've been forced, forced to to to, uh, to uh, give me what what they owe me, forced to. However, I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning, right? The police are useless. It's all fake, it's all balls, it's all bullshit. All of it. Right? I, I, you know, I get emails with Tommy Robinson, right, asking me for money. Asking me for money to support his cause. Yeah? Which I don't mind doing because it's a good cause. And I would have gone up there and I would have supported them. But I, me, me, is an old man and I should get a job. After what I've been through, and that is how I get treated. Fair enough. I will never ever in my life trust anybody again. Never. I will never get married again. I can't have kids. I wouldn't have kids if I could anyway. I've had my home taken off me. I've had my human rights invaded and I've had to shout, shout and make myself heard. And they're still fucking around in my bank account. They spoke to me, Barclays Bank, 
on the phone. Is this you? Is this you? Is this you? Yes, it is me. Now they want me to send, they want to me to write to them to tell them what's fraud and what isn't. And they haven't even enclosed an envelope. They think everybody's got stamps. Do you know, do you know how, how expensive stamps are now? They're extortionate. This, Netflix, I told that, them that was me. I told them British Gas was me. I told them what was me and wasn't me. Now they want me to actually go through it all again. to change my pin number and he's not changed the pin number it says the pin number will stay the same on the card they don't listen they don't listen to me nobody listens to me nobody just don't listen treat me like a kid talk over me don't listen to me and then they wonder why, you know, I just get fed up. Yeah, I've got my money, I've got my money, I've got my card, but I've been mentally battered. I don't feel too good today. I don't want to go anywhere, I don't want to do anything. And men that send women disgusting images online right it's just vile you want to get you want to you know what was being said to me whether they were foreign or english was basically they were going to come into my come into my accommodation fuck me stupid get me pregnant and fucking do all these disgusting, despicable things to me and they get off doing that they get off doing it they ain't gonna make me, they ain't gonna do nothing they aren't capable of doing anything their dick's too small see you later